Hello, we're here to tell you about our Youth as Solutions NYLC project addressing period poverty and providing menstrual products to students. New Haven Academy is a magnet school in New Haven, Connecticut. We decided on this topic after narrowing it down from other ideas we had on mental health and the environment. When asked, what is a change that you would like to see and will improve our community, most students said that they related to the issue of needing menstrual products in the bathrooms. We know that the school doesn't provide it and we rarely have a nurse in the building. Even when there is a nurse, students don't wanna travel all the way to their office to get a pad. When they need it is when they are in the stall. We also looked up data on the prevalence of this issue and posted information in the bathrooms about period poverty. There are a number of steps we took in our planning process. It turns out that the state of Connecticut passed a bill last year called the Menstrual Equity Health Bill, HB 5272, that will require all public spaces to provide menstrual products. This includes schools. However, nothing has happened with that yet and its rollout has been delayed. We wrote emails to Representative Kate Farrar, who led the bill, telling her of our support and asking when it will be implemented. We also started to think about how we would distribute products and decided to put pads and tampons in little tote bags that hang on each of the stalls. After that, we also contacted a number of organizations that we could source products from, such as the Connecticut Diaper Bank, Jewish Family Services, Connecticut Food Share, Habitat for Humanity, and Planned Parenthood. We came out with nothing until a circle back to the diaper bank, and at that point, they did have some products for us. At the same time, we were surveying the student body about the need. So after surveying students and what they felt needed to be in the bathrooms, we used the NYLC grant money to purchase items to supplement what the diaper bank had provided based on our results. Part of the research was also finding the best cost per pad. Here are some of the responses of our research. When asked students how important they thought it would be if we provided products in the bathrooms and also what type of products they use and would like to see in the bathrooms. So this is where we used our research in order to know what we should purchase. Here's a picture of what it looks like in the bathrooms and of some of the boxes we received from the diaper bank. So far, the implementation has actually been a huge success. This photo shows a single occurrence that was very rare and we don't expect it to happen. However, there's been incredibly positive feedback as students have been using the products and have been very respectful of it. The best part is hearing students say, oh, having the menstrual products in the bathroom totally saved me yesterday. And then others chime in with the same experience. After this occurrence, though, that you see in the picture, we did add a sign to remind students that the products are provided by our student club and not the district. We also use data from our restocking each week to reassess the needs of what needs to be put in the totes. Here is an example of what we've collected of how many products are being used by week, by floor and bathroom in our school building. Thank you so much for listening, and we were so glad to be a part of the Youth of Solutions team through NYLC.